You're watching Talk of the Town on Cambridge Cable TV 2 and a new Concord on Orbit TV 9. Coming up on this edition of the show, Guernsey County Sheriff Jeff Payton talks about things that are important to you. Todd Thornton and Tom Davey have the details on this Saturday's Jammin' for Johnson. And Jeremy Scott sits down and talks with one of the voices of the Cleveland Indians, Mr. Jim Rosenhaus. It's all ahead on this edition of Talk of the Town. From the U.S. Bank Studios, it's Talk of the Town with Perry Baranich. Fly, Eagles, fly! Yeah, and welcome to a brand new edition of Talk of the Town. We're coming to you from U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge. Ponder this for a minute. Okay. The Eagles won the Super Bowl at U.S. Bank Stadium, and we film here at U.S. Bank in downtown so it Cambridge. Fake. It had to be. It was fake. But congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles for winning Super Bowl 52. Yeah, I don't know if my team will ever do it. Browns? Yeah, oh boy. I'm praying for you, man. Well, I'll tell you it, what. It's going to take a while. I told my wife, I said, you know, I've been rooting for them for 30-plus years. Yep. I can I can die now. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm fine with that. The Cavs helped me out when they won, but <laughs> I need the Browns to do this something. Guy, this guy, of course, if you don't know him, yeah. is Guernsey County Sheriff Jeff Payton. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, sir. I'm glad you're an Eagles fan. Oh, man. I tell you, I, this is this is Super Bowl 52 voice today. Yeah, I can see but why, because I'll never feel the way you feel right now. You might. Nah, well, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, you probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> I was a Browns fan. Hey, we got a lot to talk about other yeah. than football. Right. Um, what's going on? I, I know, you know, we're having a real winter this yes. year. My goodness uh, And with real winters comes snow levels and snow emergency levels. Mm -hmm. And I know you wanted to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, just um, – it, common sense goes a long way with the snow. Um, don't wait on me to say it's a level one, a level two. Um, take it as a guideline. Uh, you know how you drive. You know if, if you're afraid of the snow. Mm -hmm. um, level one and two is not going to keep you from going to work. Mm -hmm. It's up to your employer. Mm -hmm. um, so just know that when, when we go into this. Now, level three, if I would ever call level three, it's definitely arrestable. But you still have to call in to your work and, and see if you need to report. So I just want to say, just make sure you, you check the roads out. You know how you drive. I don't. And where we live, the back roads become the X factor oh, in this whole thing. It is. I mean, and you know, the state does a good job at, at their roads, the city and stuff like that. But when you get, and the county does also. But when you get on these back roads, the sun doesn't hit them. Mm -hmm. It's icy. Um, so the back roads could be a level two and the roads in the city are not even a level. Yeah. So you just got to really watch when you drive. And common sense would tell you if you don't have to be out, don't be out. Don't be out. And if you have four-wheel drive, doesn't mean it's gonna you're going to be able to go really well on ice and stuff. That's a whole other situation there because four-wheel drives you equate to bigger tires sometimes. Yes. And they'll take you everywhere. Yes, so. they will. They, they will. And, you know, sometimes a smaller car, car will get you around better than the bigger. So just, just be really safe and be cautious and, and, and look for our levels because I do ask the, the deputies and I ask, uh, you know, ODOT and stuff like that, what do you think the roads are right now? And then they'll give me some advice. And you can find all that at the Guernsey County Sheriff's website. So yes. It's a yes. great, great place to be. Yes. Uh, how's the 911 center going? Oh, man, I'm telling you right now, um, Kenny Matthews, he's IT for uh, the county. Uh, Dustin Best, uh, he's my sergeant. He's another IT guy that they are kicking butt i'm telling you right now <laughs> they are really it's really coming along we had to move uh the dispatch currently that we're into into another room um that was some logistic issues but th it went smoothly uh cambridge has moved over to the other room we have started construction already um of, of course the price of everything is astronomical yeah um and when you're dealing with uh dispatch equipment you might as well just triple mm. the price on mm -hmm. it but we are going to be a uh, well-functioned machine here in about uh, three or four months. And, and wow. we're going to be top-notch. And start looking at Facebook, our Facebook uh, site, because we're going to start posting pictures of the uh, construction and what we've done so far. So you're pretty much on schedule? Oh, we're ahead of schedule. That's great. Yes. That is great. And, and again, the benefit to the folks out there for this center? The benefit is going to be more efficient service, um, hopefully quicker service. Um, with communication... You're only as good as your radio is. Mm -hmm. uh, and with the MARC system that we have now, it's going to be top-notch. The uh, FD's got a grant of $500,000. They're going to be able to um, upgrade their systems also to com make it compatible to our system, uh, our MARC system, paging and everything. So we will be better off than we've ever been. And it's because, of, again, it's because of the taxpayers uh, making this happen. 
And I want to say one thing. I have a committee. I have a committee that uh, we meet uh, twice uh, a month, if not more. It has a volunteer fire department guys on it. It has uh, United. It has uh, EMA. All the players that we need mm -hmm. to make this go smooth. And so everybody gets what they want and what they need. Okay. Um, this is the one-time shot for this. All right, great. Sheriff of the Day is coming up. What's Sheriff of the Day? Oh, I love Sheriff of the Day. Actually, uh, my wife had thought about this, so I got to give a plug to Adrienne. Um, and she'll like that. So It's always a good thing. Right, good job, Adrian. Yeah. So um, <laughs> Sheriff for the Day is we education in the schools with this drug epidemic is, is the only way we can handle this. Mm -hmm. We got to slow down the school. We got to let the kids know it's not okay. It's not normal. So Sheriff for the Day is we, do, we take fifth grade classes. In each fifth grade class, we'll write an essay, and we'll, we'll come up with a topic. It has to be related to, to drugs um, and, uh, you know, crime and that sort. So I'll get all these essays in, and I got a group that will narrow it down to three to five essays for me. I will pick the winner of that essay. Now, all the kids do a great job. Mm -hmm. So the winner of that essay, and I do it for all the schools, uh, will get to come with me for the morning. We'll go meet the judges, and, and they'll get a tour of the sheriff's office, and they are the sheriff. I'll ask them where you want to go, and they'll tell me. And I'll, they, they also, uh, the employees ask if uh, they're going to get hired or fired. And I said, <laughs> we don't want to go that far. <laughs> but uh, what we do is I give them a sheriff's shirt. I take them around. Um, they get to see a little bit what we do. That's very and then, cool. And then a pizza party for the, the oh, class. that's awesome. Yeah. That is so, awesome. Well, we're excited, yeah. Yeah. It's good, All good right. stuff. Hey, we've got uh, about a minute. Yeah. You wanted to touch on the uh, Challenger League Baseball? Yes. Uh, Challenger, Ch Challenger League Baseball is for men mental and physical handicapped kids. I've ran it now for close to 10 years. Um, go to the Cambridge Little League website. I want all the kids I can get. I had 22 last year, and the most I've ever had was 34. Okay. So this, I went already went to the schools and let them know about it. But please get the kids out there who don't no normally get to play baseball, and I want them playing with me. Okay. The baseball and you can team. find all that information again on the website as well. Cambridge Little League, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds great. I did a lot of talking. You didn't do much. Hey, that's okay. I can't, I, I, I can't talk much today. I'm a baby in this voice. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. And I tell you, I'm, I'm, making the, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm going to join you in rooting for the Browns now so that we can get the Browns a championship. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. A lot of praying, please. You're welcome. <laughs> Kearns County Sheriff Jeff Payton. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town right after this. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a great place to live, work, and play. Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge prides themselves on offering the largest inventory and the best customer service in the area. Visit their lot and experience the Classic Difference. The Classic Difference provides customers a service above and beyond what you'll find anywhere else. Their service department, body shop, and parts department strive for the best service and pricing in southeastern Ohio. Stop by the lot and browse their large selection of new and pre-owned inventory, ask about easy financing, or schedule an oil change. That's Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge. Stop by and experience the classic difference for yourself. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash Talk of the Town Show and stay up to date. 
Welcome back and thank you so much for watching Talk of the Town. Well, there's an event uh, coming up that is uh, so popular in the area. It's uh, Jamming for Johnson. And here to tell us all about it, we have a musician and, and co-organizer, uh, Todd Thornton and um, Tom Davey of the Officially Retired Now. Yes, I indeed. guess we'll put you in that category. Yeah. Gentlemen, good to see you. You too. How many years has this been going on? 14. 14 years. 14 years. Wow, that means it's popular. Yeah, it, it uh, always draws a crowd out. It's, it's pretty amazing how much the community has supported us. Give us the, the details, the who, what, whens, and where's before we get into everything else. Uh, this Saturday night uh, starts at 8 o'clock uh, at the uh, Eagles uh, out on East Wheeling Avenue, uh, presented by Ron Guthrie State Farm Insurance. Um, the kitchen will be open for dinner, and they do have good food and they're reasonably priced, so come for dinner, come hungry. Um, it's $10 at the door uh, per person, 15 per couple. So if you bring your wife and your girlfriend, I'm not sure how we handle that, but we'll <laughs> figure sure. it out. So I guess they'll have to work that out at the door. Yes, we will. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I introduce you as a co-organizer. Who's the other co in this uh, part? My wife, Alicia. See, we got to give her some props. We do. We do. Uh, Bunk was her father. Okay. Okay. So that's and it's just a natural fit then. Yeah. What's it all about? I mean, what is Jamming for Johnson all about? Well, this, well, it started in 2004, and it was an idea from Bill Armstrong. He, had, he was a musician. He's played with Bunk for years and years and years, and Bunk was battling cancer. And the idea was to get musicians from all over who played with Bunk over 100 years, uh, to get them together and have a jam and raise money for the Cancer Society. And... Uh, as it happened, Bunk wasn't even well enough to attend. Uh, in fact, this was November of 04. He passed away in January of 2005. Okay. But when we got back to him and told him how successful it was, how much fun it was, and we thought we'd like to keep it alive, uh, Bunk says, well, if you do that, I'd like to see it go for music scholarship. So that's what we've done ever since. Okay, so that's actually, and that brings the point, uh, is there a cost to get in? How much is it? Yes, ten dollars per person. Ten dollars uh, per person per couple. Okay, and then uh, that's where the girlfriend of the wife comes in. Okay, that, that's I right. That, yeah. That's right. And if you want to give more, we'll take it. Okay, so donations are readily accepted. That's right. And before I forget it, we also take old used instruments. So if you child played in the high school band and they left home 10 years ago and the horns in the closet d d gathering dust, uh, we'd be glad to recycle it. The schools can use them. Do you take all types of instruments? Well, I don't want to stand up piano, but... Uh, <laughs> It'd be hard to move around. Yeah. What about like guitars and amps? We have received a guitar and an amp, uh, but mostly horns. Okay. Um, okay. What was it like playing with Bunk? Uh, it, it was an experience. Um, <laughs> He was ornery. He took his music serious. Uh, there were two sides of him. There was the side of a lot of the business people saw and knew, very mm -hmm. professional. Mm -hmm. And there was the musician side, which uh, a, a lot of practical jokes, a lot of joking around, but uh, he, he was a very good player. And he was serious about his music. Very, yes. And that's what kind of separates people. Some people are serious, some people are, eh, it's okay. He was one of the serious yeah. ones. Bunk was the oldest kid I knew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, do you find, uh, being a musician myself, do you find that it's, it's, it's a lot more rewarding and fun to play with somebody who's serious about it? Oh, definitely. I mean, when you play with someone who is serious and who is very good, it just pushes your level up mm -hmm. to where you don't want to look like the fool on stage, <laughs> so you got to bring your A game. And uh, then that always makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah, in it does. And you feel like you've got something done. Yeah. And for, you feel for, like you can hang. That's right, the thing. You know? Right. For people who have never been to one, you, you, you've got to come and experience it. It is a great gig. I mean, we're talking about some people who, and it amazes me because I can't play an instrument, but to people to get together and they've not rehearsed and they sound like they've played together for 20 years. It's just amazing. It really is. And how do you, know, how do, you do that? Is it, is it more or less a jam? It, it is a true jam uh, in the truest sense. We just get up on stage. Uh, basically, there's a lot of standard tunes you do for, for jams, um, jazz, blues, mm -hmm. a little bit of classic rock and stuff. Um, and everybody just has those songs in their wheelhouse just from playing okay. over the years. Yeah. It, it's just a matter of, okay, let's do, you know, Route 66 in A. 
Okay. And you count it off and away you go. And you go. You just hang on and make it sound Enjoy good. the ride. Yeah. Who's going to be performing this year? Uh, we're going to have Dave Powers again on keyboard. Uh, Louis Samus is coming back on drums. Um, George Delante is coming back from New York. He was our first scholarship winner okay. of the whole process. Uh, we have Dr. Laura Schumann this year coming, oh, be which is a addition. real nice yeah. addition. She'll be there later in the evening doing, doing some stuff with her fiddle. Um, we've got a couple guys from Columbus, uh, Dan Compton, who sang last year. He's going to be helping with the tribute we're doing for Sheila Ray Charles. Oh, okay. Um, Mike Lee on trumpet, Scott Patterson, uh, myself, um, Kenny Joseph. There's, there's just, there's so many I can't sit here and name them all. Mm -hmm. And honestly, we don't even know until that night who might show who up. Might show up. It's the yes. All Star Band, is yes. what it oh, is, yeah. basically. It really yeah. is. But uh, boy, it's, it sounds like a whole lot of fun. Oh, and Tom, like you were saying, if somebody hasn't experienced it, you're going to walk out of there feeling good. Oh my, real good. Yes. Uh, it, it's just amazing musical uh, musical event. What time do the doors open? Uh, well, I don't know. The doors open. Doors open at five. 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 Okay. Yes. Before Glad we had always there, said you know? we had always said come early for dinner. Yeah. And it just it was people were coming so early we couldn't even get finished setting up. Okay. Um, okay. Three thirty. We're trying to get tables set. Okay. People coming in. So this year we're asking. Okay. Nobody be there until 5 o'clock. Doors open at 5. It's this Saturday at the Eagles Club, 14th Annual Jammin' for Johnson. If you want to have a great time, experience some great music, music uh, and for a good cause, be there. Todd Thornton, Tom Davey, thanks for coming in. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. Break a leg. Thank you. Back with more Talk of the Town right after this. Right back with more Talk of the Town. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. Welcome back and thanks for watching Talk of the Town. Well, Jeremy Scott recently sat down at Theo's for a cup of coffee and a piece of pie with Jim Rosenhaus, one of the radio voices for the Cleveland Indians, and it looked like they had a really good time. Here's that interview. Thanks, Barry. It is Jeremy Scott, and I am sitting here having a piece of Theo's pie, a cup of coffee, and just talking some baseball with a guy who, I'll tell you, we don't get him in town very often, but when we do, we are very lucky to do so. And I am talking about one of the voices of the Cleveland Indians, Mr. Jim Rosenhaus. And Jim, you were an economics major back in your college days, and your minor was in business. So how does an econ major and business minor end up in broadcasting? And you did your homework, Jeremy, thank you. Um, you know what? Eating a lot of pie usually does it, but uh, you know it, it's something that I wanted to do. And I got about halfway through college, and just thought, if you're ever going to follow your dream, that's the time to do it. So, was far enough along where I didn't want to transfer to a different school or anything like that. So stayed with it, got my degree, but I had a chance to work at the student station and where I went to school and. I uh, got some experience there and, and everything worked out just fine, but it, it is odd. 
for what I do to, to have those degrees as a major and a minor. So were you a DJ before you went into sports broadcasting? Um, no, actually it was uh, like news, a lot of radio news. I worked uh, my first job, actually a little bit of, of DJing on my first job was a morning show in upstate New York. Um, and then some high school football, basketball, and, and baseball. And then worked radio news in New Jersey, just outside New York City. And that was strictly news. Uh, and then was fortunate enough to get into baseball. So a little bit of everything before getting into baseball. And Jim, you're also a member of the Buffalo Bisons Hall of Fame. You lived in Buffalo, obviously, for a while. What is the proper way to do buffalo wings? Bone in, bone out, and rubber sauce. Uh, you got uh, definitely bone in, for sure. Uh, sauce, for sure. Like a, a good, whether it's the Anchor Bar, where they were originated, or Duff's is the other big one up there. You got to have like 39 different sauces. <laughs> 39 you, so, different sauces. Or what, you know, okay. a, a million of them, different varieties, different heat. Um, so at least there, that's how it's preferred. Have you found a place in Cleveland that rivals what they do in Buffalo? No, not yet. <laughs> um, but that, that's the beauty of, like, of traveling to, to different towns and things like that. Uh, everybody's known for something different. Um, in Buffalo, it happens to be wings. And uh, you know, not really Cleveland. You know, there's a lot of good spots in Cleveland too. But yeah, still searching uh, wing-wise to, to find that good one that, that you would have. And in Buffalo, I mean, just about every bar or restaurant, no matter what their main uh, bill of fare is, they still serve wings at, in some form or another. And they're all awesome. Yeah, usually. Now, being that you are an Indians broadcaster, what is your opinion of the movie Major League? <laughs> That's a good one right there. Love it. Um, I, and from a broadcaster's perspective, I mean, Bob Euchre as Harry Doyle makes the movie. Absolutely. Um, but it is nice that, that they're not in as desperate straits as they were at the beginning of that movie. Um, and they still, you know, last fall they played the Yankees in a big series in the playoffs. So it's kind of like the movie. Um, but love the movie. I mean, you can't go wrong with Major League. And uh, over the years we've tried to get Charlie Sheen to come in and, and throw out a first pitch. And it hasn't quite worked out yet. But uh, Bob Buecher comes in every now and again with the Brewers. And how he is in that movie is kind of how he is in real life, which, which is pretty cool. Not too many embellishments. Though. No, he's, I mean, he's hilarious. So if they were to remake Major League, or at least modernize it, who would play Jim Rosenhaus? Who would you want to play Jim Rosenhaus? <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, you know what? You'd have to have Bob Euchre back, because his character, I think, made the movie. Um, I'm sure Tom Hamilton would be okay although, with that. Well, I, you know, Hammy would have to be in there, too, for sure. But uh, it'd be interesting if they did do a... What were they on, three or four? Yeah, Before they, they stopped did making them? Three, yeah. And, then. yeah. and they all got worse as they went. I mean, they can't... <laughs> By the time they got to three, it wasn't good, but... Yeah, Pedro Serrano taking up voodoo. I just yeah. was never okay with that. If they that. could ever get the, the original cast back together, it might work again. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you do work with Tom Hamilton, obviously, and he's one of the dynamite voices in Major League Baseball. He's known all around the league. You always hear his calls on MLB Network and on ESPN whenever they're playing back clips of games, all that kind of thing. What have you learned from him in your career? Oh, gosh, um, a ton. And it's interesting, I, I, I worked 16 years in minor league baseball and finally got a chance to, to join the Indians and, and work in major league baseball. I think the tendency is sometimes you think you, you're prepared and you know, you're ready to go, you know everything, that type of thing. But um, I was fortunate, like just growing up, you know, I had parents who said, hey, you can always learn something from someone every day. And Tom's been wonderful in terms of preparation, uh, just being comfortable how to interact with players and you do all that stuff in the minor leagues but there's some finer points that are different at the major league level than they, they would have been at, at single A or triple A where I had worked and uh, he's been a good friend and, and just a great example because he works as hard today as he did when he started I think um, you know still goes down and talks to guys on the field before the game visits guys in the clubhouse and, and that's essential I mean you can you can read all the stuff that I would read. It's out there. It's on the internet, you know, different media guides, things like that. But our job as broadcasters is to go where the fans can't and then relay them the good stuff. And so that's why we go down to the clubhouse, talk to players, pick up on stories, 
what they're working on, things like that. And, and that's hopefully it makes it a more entertaining broadcast. Hopefully. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I know he still does that, and, and I try and do the same thing. If we were to go on your phone right now and look at your playlist and see what the last song that you was that you listened to was, what would that be? Oh man, something country probably. Um, not Luke Bryan though. Putting him on the spot. Maybe a, maybe a little Jason Aldean. Maybe a, um, trying to think of like Big Green Tractor era Jason Aldean or something a little bit more current. A little bit more current. Although we did uh, speaking of tractors, uh, did Joe Nichols do one? Uh, Run some Joe Nichols. You got any Joe Nichols? Joe Nichols? Okay, yeah. I'll uh, tell you Tequila what. makes her clothes call, fall there, off. There, there yeah, you that's go. That's a good one. Um, so, yeah, but country, like I enjoy country. It's just um, it's easy going, but you throw a little classic rock in there. Aerosmith, Rolling Stones, any of them are good. Hey, speaking um, our language here. And then to stay current with the kid, I, I have a 14 year old freshman in high school. You got to have a little rap, hip hop type stuff in there, and plus our players, same thing. Uh, so you gotta have some of that, and then we have Latin players. So you gotta maybe dabble a little bit in in the Latin American music. So I try and be well rounded. There you but go. But last one, like on the drive down, a little country boy. All country, all the way. Well, Jim, thank you so much for taking some time to sit down, have a piece of Theo's pie, and a cup of coffee with me. And we didn't even cover the team. And we didn't even cover <laughs> the team. That's okay. That's what we we like to go a little bit beyond just the superficial stuff. You know what? We have 162 games to worry about that coming up. That's right. Don't forget, folks. Speaking of those 162 games, you can catch them all all season long on your home for Cleveland Indians baseball, 93 BNV. And don't forget to check out Tribe Time Tuesday featuring Jim Rosenhouse as well as Jeff Reed and Fred McBride all season long on 93 BNV. Back to you in the studio, Perry Baranich. Hey, thanks, Jeremy, and thanks to Jim Rosenhouse for taking time out of his busy schedule to sit down with Jeremy and have some fun. Back to wrap it up right after this. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. That is going to do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks to our guests, Guernsey County Sheriff Jeff Payton, Todd Thornton, Tom Davey, Jeremy Scott, and Mr. Jim Rosie Rosenhouse. Yeah. Hey, we are having a real winter this year. Lots of cancellations taking place for an up-to-the-minute list of cancellations and delays. All you have to do is log on to yourradioplace.com. You can call in your cancellation and delay, 740-432-5605, or check out the Guernsey County Sheriff's website for all the levels, okay? For producer director Adam Green, I'm Perry Bronich. See you next time on Talk of the Town. Fly, Eagles, fly! Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. 
At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. You're watching Talk of the Town on Cambridge Cable TV 2 and a new Concord on Orbit TV 9.